So guys, I'm going to give you a timing for whenever we leave uh, the, um, the St. Patrick's Centre. If we can all be on the coach for 10.55, there are restrooms, of course, in here as well. There are restrooms at the Cathedral, which will be our next stop. But like I said, you'll be on the coach for 10.55, and we'll be driving for around five minutes to take us up to the Cathedral itself. This roundabout here, about two miles down the road on the right hand side, is Inch Abbey. You can't really see it from the road. That is the ruins of an old abbey, and it was used as a Game of Thrones filming location. You might have heard of the HBO series Game of Thrones. Most of the interiors were filmed in Titanic Studios in Belfast, about a mile from where you're actually docked. And of course, they used a lot of the Northern Irish countryside for location shots. They also used Spain. Malta and Croatia and a bit of Iceland for exterior shots as well. But you can actually get dedicated Game of Thrones tours here in Northern Ireland and there is the newly opened Game of Thrones experience down in a place called Banbridge, about 25 miles to the south of Belfast. And that's a really, really good experience. I've only ever watched four episodes of Game of Thrones because I had it on DVD and then my DVD player broke and it's not compatible with my new television. Uh, so I watched four episodes and even as a person who hasn't watched it, going to the Game of Thrones experience in Banbridge, it's really good. So if you're a Game of Thrones fan, that's something that you might want to um, consider for your next visit. Yes. Do you have any large companies here, like Walmart or Costco? Oh, from you're talking America? about you're talking about our supermarkets. Yes. So we have a supermarket called Asda, which is throughout the UK, and that's owned by Walmart. We don't have Walmart. We don't have Kmart. We don't have Target. Yeah. We don't have Best Buy. We don't have Costco. No, we don't have those no, here. No. We have equivalents. Yeah. You know. And groceries, you have Lidl or Lidl. Li Lidl. Lidl. Or Lidl or Lidl. Yes, okay. and you're just getting that in the States, aren't you? Yes, we've got it. And uh, Aldi's? Well, they've Aldi. got Aldi in the rest of the United Kingdom and the Irish Republic, but we don't have it. No, not yet. Northern Ireland's the only place in the British Isles that doesn't have it. But little, little is very comparable to uh, Aldi's. It is indeed, yes. Yeah, they're yes. very similar, I think. Yes. We've got Tesco's, Sainsbury's, Marks and Spencer's, etc. over here in Northern Ireland. Tesco's and Sainsbury's only came here after 1998, but we always had Marks and Spencer's. In fact, the Marks and Spencer's food hall store in the centre of Belfast was the busiest in the whole of the United Kingdom. So I do want to emphasise to you that even though we had the period of the Troubles, and you would have seen those like in actually a lot of wealth here in Northern Ireland as well. There was a uh, survey done a number of years back, and there is quite a lot of wealth here in Northern Ireland as well. So on the right here, you have Panda China. Do you have, um, what would be the number of Asians <coughs> that live in Northern Ireland? Do you know a percentage? Well, uh, well I, can't give you, I can't give you a percentage of that. Not there, too much? There are, no, we, we've, we've always had a Chinese community uh -huh. here, and also always had an Indian community as well. Uh -huh. In fact, there's, an, there's a, a, a massive church that used to be the largest Methodist church in Ireland. In no longer a church, it's actually an Indian community centre. So we've always traditionally had uh, uh, an Indian community here over the last 70 years and also uh, an Asian community. But for a long time, people from lots of other races did not come here uh, because they didn't come because of the troubles. So for example, yeah. When I went to school, I didn't go to school 
with anyone who was a different color from me until I was in sixth form when I was 17 and an Indian girl joined our school to do her A-levels and uh, Kausar Latif and she was kind of a bit of a novelty. Yes. Um, so Northern Ireland was sort of uh, <laughs> white bread, white, it was kind of white bread country if you want to put it that way, mm -hmm. until recently. Now you'll see lots more different races here over the last 15 years, mm -hmm. which is a good thing. It's become much more diverse. Yes. Well, I'll put it this way. I did not speak to a black man until I was 23 and lived in Manchester. That tells a lot. That says so, a lot. Yeah. So we're coming up to the St. Patrick Centre now, and what we'll do is we'll disembark outside it. You'll follow me in. Uh, Sam will take the uh, coach and turn it and park it, and then you'll go in, you'll get your video presentation, you'll have some time to jump up the stairs here as well. You'll have around an hour to spend here. Some of it will be taken up by that presentation, but of course, like I said, don't forget, uh, sometimes the line gets quite long in the gift shop. This is for that, and if everyone can be back on the 